What is up everybody, it's your boy Brando here with Brando Reviews and today we're going to be checking out the Think Driver Smart Bluetooth Car Diagnostic Tool. So this is like an OBD2 reader, you put it in your car and it Bluetooth transmits all that information such as um, your 0 to 60 times or your 0 to 100 kilometer times. Obviously if you have a code, you can clear that code, find out what the code is, plus all sorts of other things. Um, currently you can pick this up on uh, Think Driver's website for $69.95. It's also currently on Kickstarter right now. You can get this for $53 if you wait on the early bird Kickstarter deal. And that does come with a one year subscription it says. But um, there's not too much really to say about it. We're going to install this in the car in this video. We're going to be taking a closer look at it. We'll just talk about a few of the basic things it can do. There's three different models. This is the Think Driver. There's a Think Car and the Think Diag. Think Diagnostic. It's just shortened right there. The uh, Think Driver. It can do OBD2 uh, diagnostics, clear codes, full system diagnostic, full system read clear code, real time data stream, full system diagnostic report, zero to 60 acceleration time, and it's compatible with all vehicles after 1996 as per the OBD2 uh, reading on it. So it can diagnose a lot of things. We're not gonna really talk about it all because I'm sure a lot of you have used OBD2 readers before where you just plug it in. And this is the wireless variation, so we're gonna go ahead and check it out now. All right guys, so here we are, we have the box out. We're just gonna take a quick look at it here before we actually get into it, just so you guys can see what it says. You can go ahead and read all that there if you want. And I did do some research on it. Yes, there is a subscription service. It links to one vehicle. You can get it to link to other vehicles if you purchase more of those activation codes, but it will work with one vehicle, and I guess maybe for a year, hopefully forever, but we'll get there. So here it is right here, and the only other thing in the box is the uh, manual right here. Uh, that serial number and activation code will be used by this video, of course, because I'm going to have to use it. And here it is itself. And I do want to note that this is a very good quality box. It's like textured right here. <laughs> but here it is right here. This is what the money is buying you right here. This is the, uh, the important mumbo jumbo right here. So here's the back right here. You can see there's like an LED right here inside that red spot. Try to get a little more of a zoom here if we can. And you can see the model TKR01 Think Driver. There's the LED. And you can see it's a very nice looking color here. Um, I have an OBD2 extender on my car, so I can actually move it further away from just underneath my car where the OBD2 reader is. So I'm gonna use that so I can put this in a nice spot because I got other OBD2 accessories in my car I switch out often. So there it is. You can see the connections right there. It'll work on any OBD2 reader, not OBD1. Um, this is standard on over 105 different vehicle manufacturers, so this should work in your car. If it doesn't, then you've got a very odd car. So yeah, as you can see, it looks very good. It feels pretty well, um, has a nice design to it, very stylish. That's your thing with OBD2 Bluetooth car readers. But yeah, there's really not much else to show in regard to the physical device. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the car, check out the app, and check out the functionality. All right, guys, so now you're going to download the app. It's called Think Driver. It's a very simple named app. It's named after the device. You're just going to find that in the app store. Once you have that app downloaded, you're going to make an account. You're going to be create a username and password, and it will send you an activation code in your email. It was in my junk folder, so be sure to look there for it. And then once you go there, you're going to press activate right here. Once you press activate, you're going to enter the device's serial number and activation code, which are on the user manual, as we saw before. And we're gonna press activate and we're gonna let it use my location, I guess. Hope for the best. And it says, congratulations, the device has been activated successfully. So this is the message tab. I guess you can communicate with other people here. This is just the uh, information, your points, devices, reports, all that stuff. Communication area here, like a little social media kind of thing where you can like, comment, forward, and share things with other users of this device, share reports, share information about your vehicles. And this is the big boy tab right here, which we'll be looking at further in the car. So let's head on out there, plug her in and take a look. All right, guys, so we're out at the car right now and most OBD2 reader ports are underneath the driver's side steering wheel right here. Obviously it varies from car to car, but in my case and in most of your cases, it's gonna be right underneath here where your accelerator brake and uh, your foot rest are. So. I'm gonna be using this six foot extender here because I have it located in another spot. But for the sake of the video here, I'm just gonna plug it in just like so. And it clips in place and it just sort of stays there. But I'm gonna move it out of the way with my long wire there. 
but it's very simple. You just plug it in and we're gonna go to the phone now and connect it via Bluetooth and take a look at all the goodies it has. All right guys, so I have it plugged in right here in my extender, but we did show you how to do it down below obviously. So you just connect it just like so, press it in and the red indicator light comes on on it right there, which is showing you that it's getting power. And we're just gonna move to the app now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and connect it via the app so we can actually see everything. You see it says Bluetooth connection, checking firmware version. And now it says connected at the top right, right there. We can confirm that by going to our Bluetooth right here and you can see it says connected and you can't really press the I next to it to disconnect, it just auto connects. We're just gonna go back to the app right now and you can see all of your information here. So now we're going to uh, press off system diagnostic and we're gonna go through all of these different functions on this page here. So first you're gonna press off system diagnostic if you want to and it's going to load. Once it's loading, you'll get a little lottery sort of a casino a slot machine deal where it finds your VIN and your make model year. It says Chrysler, mine's a Dodge, but close enough, close enough. And now we have information or access to all of this information here. We can do a health report, a system scan, and we can select individual system components to watch over in live data streams, as well as clear codes from here as well. Um, regarding certain items. So we'll go ahead and do a health report first here at the top. Please turn the ignition key to the on position. So the vehicle is on right now, 6%, 12%. So here it is right here. We're gonna go and press fault report right here. So it'll show what the problems are and what's normal down here. All that stuff's good. It says there's a problem with these items. Uh, panel cluster, I don't really know what it means. This might have something to do with my taser, how it uh, reconfigured some of the information on the car. So. Uh, I'm not concerned about that. The tire pressure monitoring system works great. All four are reading correctly. Uh, the HVAC, I do have a travel range too small, recirculation door control circuit. Uh, that probably has to do with the actuator that I unplugged from my car because it kept messing up. Um, that doesn't bother me. The radio is a uh, up radio. I installed it from a Hellcat. This is a uh, 3.6 liter, so that might be why that's there. Driver's door module system voltage signal below allowable range not really sure what that's about and uh lost communication with the radio the radio works fine okay and then you can press reports down here and see more so we're going to go back now back again and we're going to try the system scan and see if this is any different information here and 100 percent right there so it says i'm equipped with all of that stuff which is good because we're supposed to be but it'll let you know what you do and don't have. So we're gonna go down to system selection now and we can choose individual uh, components here. This is the powertrain control module right here. And we can clear codes regarding it right here, read codes, module information, and we can read the data stream here, which will show us live information about the vehicle. So let's do, uh, uh, let's do engine speed. It should be zero because we're not driving. Okay, it does RPMs, which is good. You can see your live RPMs right now. It's hovering around the 620 range, which is what my car is supposed to be. You can record it and save the information. Um, let's go back here. Oh, you can do multiples on each page, I see. So let's go ahead and do a, let's do a few other things. Torque, we won't have any torque right now too much. And let's see, there's all sorts of information in here. Let's see, mass airflow. And I'll just scroll through here. You can see you have access to just basically everything about your engine or your powertrain module. So you can see the mass airflow, the actual torque. See, I gave it a little rev there, it shoots up. My RPM shoot up a ton too. So it is very live, it's working pretty good. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go back here and we'll choose one more thing to look at. Let's just do the uh, transmission control module and see what's in there. Read data stream, voltage ignition. You can see the car's current voltage right there. And like the other one, you can add other information to it as well. So you can see things that are regarding all sorts of things. So I'm just gonna press a few things, clutch, uh, vehicle speed, battery voltage, throttle position. Ignition run, vehicle speed, zero of course. Voltage, battery voltage. So your voltage ignition and your battery voltage are both showing right there and your throttle position is at 8.24% on my car. So cool, cool, you have access to basically everything live on your phone, I really like that. I'm gonna quit now and we're gonna go to maintenance function now. 
So the next set of options here are the maintenance functions and you can press any of these here. They will have to download though. And we'll go ahead and try oil here since that one is downloaded. I kind of wish they all downloaded right away, but I, I guess they wanted to make the app not uh, too huge. So this makes sense, I guess. Switch on ignition. Well, the car's turned on, so I mean, auto reset, automatic scan, Let's see what it does. Reset enhanced version information, automatic oil change indicator. Okay, you can already do that in the car though, but I guess that's, you can go in here and change a lot of different information if you want to and or look at it. So then we're, now we're gonna go to OBD functions here, which is the third one down. And we're gonna see what's in here. It says uh, data stream supported, ignition, not too sure what all of this is, but it's there for you to look at. There's just the uh, four can bus. That's just the uh, software type. And uh, really quit, yes. And then here we have flashlight. It just turns on and off your phone's flashlight. That's it. And then we got the timer down here at the bottom, which does the zero to 60 timer or the uh, 120 mile an hour. If you're trying to do zero to 120, uh, maybe while and if you'd be using that. So yeah, you got a lot of stuff in here. So that basically covers all of the basic stuff here. So now let's go ahead and move on. All right guys, so that was just a quick look at the Think Driver right here. So it seems like a really cool product. We saw it in the car, it works really well. Um, some of the things that I think could improve on, I know that this isn't really completely fully out yet, but I'd say the speed of which it diagnoses things. Um, I understand there might be a limitation to that with what the vehicle can do and how fast it can give the information out as well as the Bluetooth connection um, might be a little slower than just an automatic connection through the cable. But overall, I think this is a great unit. I think this is leagues better than that micro mechanic thing you see around at like Walgreens and CVS's. I think it really gives you a good access to a ton of information. You can see the live data streams. You can uh, diagnose system information, clear codes. And uh, the zero to 60 timer is kind of nice too, I guess. My car already has that built in, but it's nice that it has that for uh, for you guys out there. Plus it has the app with that, which has all of those connection features too. You can share information with other people. So it's like a social media sort of thing too. So with this product, it's more than just like a, it's more than an OBD2 reader. It's like an entire system you're joining. So that being said, it does seem like there might be a subscription service with this device. So you do want to keep that in mind, but you are paying for, more than just a device here. You're really getting an experience, a very a very easy to use experience that really shows you how to do everything. It helps you find information wrong with your car and also to solve that information by giving you further information about each and every, each and every aspect of it. So it seems like it's a very uh, beginner friendly device, but also has features in here that are useful for your pros out there. So it, it's very simple to use, but it has everything you would need is what I'm trying to say basically. So uh, it really does compete with some of the more expensive ones out there, not the crazy most expensive ones. Um, I have some OBD2 readers that have very similar uh, items to this, but they are multi hundred dollar units. Um, but this is wireless and you can save it all to your phone, which is amazing. So if you guys wanna pick this up, there will be a link down below to their website. If you wanna pick it up as a Kickstarter early project, you can get it for about $54. Um, with two codes for two different vehicles, or you can get it right now for 70 bucks on the Think Drive website. So uh, you do have a few options. And then there's also some other deals on the Kickstarter too. Like if you buy more, $60, $70, you get more units, et cetera, et cetera. So you guys can check that out down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you really enjoyed it. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get right back to you. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.